I'd like to share a homegrown collection, the Georgetown County Digital Library. Our library began this massive and popular database by digitizing photographs commissioned by Georgetown's mayor in the late 1800s. The Digital Library has its own website and Facebook page, is part of the Digital Public Library of America, and contains over 50,000 images. It's accessed about 5,000 times every week. Its contents have expanded to include local newspapers dating back to the late 1700s and antebellum landmaps and journals. Memorabilia from local families including expansive collections from historic heavy hitters like the Vanderbilts, Baruchs, and Huntingtons, historic postcards, and photographs of anything and everything. Inspired by many of the reasons for digital curation shared by Harvey and Oliver, but for us, ensuring long-term accessibility and reusability was paramount. All these wonderful primary materials were hidden in attics and old filing cabinets, accessed and exploited by no one. Forget the digital dark age, these rare documents were speeding into permanent obsolescence thanks to mundane enemies like humidity and soaring temperatures. We were also happy that our curation efforts could give reliable metadata about the source, contents, and historical context of the materials. As Stephen Ovedia notes in his article about digital curation, sites like Tumblr and Pinterest allow users to share content they discover online with no context about source. Quote, these digital content curation services, which seek to connect users to selected content, can often make it challenging for readers to determine where the content originated. I believe the Georgetown County Digital Library fulfills the message in a 2016 article by Stephen Buss about the need for reference and curation services even in the era of Google and Wikipedia. We are defined by an ethos of service, Buss said, of collaboration and partnership, and will continue to assist our constituents in solving their information needs. If you're interested in seeing some of the people, places, and events that make Georgetown County unique, visit www.gcdigital.org.